Hey, you absolute legends. It's Rick Carson and we're at the beautiful Make Believe Studios. And today we are talking about the exciting new release of Metric Halo's production bundle version four. The next thing that I want to go and pull up is Metric Halo Channel Strip. Metric Halo Channel Strip is now in its fourth iteration. And this plugin is an absolute game changer. And it always has been. It's one of the first Pro Tools plugins to support dual precision floating point math. And it really allowed a lot of mixers to come from the analog world to in the box in a way that was still competitive to this day. And I cannot say enough about channel strip. I will never forget how I felt being a student at Full Sail and going back home from school after seeing channel strip for the first time and realizing this is the plugin that I wanted. This is the plugin that I want to spend my money on. I called a buddy of mine, you know, committed to selling a guitar and an amplifier that I knew he was interested in buying to him. And then I went and I put all of the money that I had in my bank account, which was hundreds of dollars at that point, into buying Channel Strip. And the first thing I did was pull up Channel Strip and go to the preferences and make channel strip purple. So I'm so happy that finally in channel strip four, I have the ability to go and do that. So let's go and let's change the color of channel strip real fast, just for old time's sake. That's feeling a lot more familiar. Feels like home. I cannot forget the first time that I read about Serban using Metric Halo channel strip. And then I would dive in. I found more and more articles about dudes like JJP and Richard Furch and, you know, um, Billy Decker and Jeff Giuliano and all of these Dylan Dresdow, all these great engineers utilizing channel strip. And I just stayed there. I taught myself that I wanted to learn an equalizer in the analog domain. And that was the SSL EQ that I spent every day of my life with. And for the digital world, channel strip was it. I wanted to learn its nooks and crannies. I read every page of the manual. And I can't, you know, say enough about how truly great that manual is. There's some great concepts in there. One of them, which I've always spoken very highly of, is the idea of being able to retune a tom with parametric equalization just by pulling out and cutting the fundamental and reboosting very aggressively at a different tone. But that said, I'm just going to very basically go through the features of channel strip so that you can see what this plugin is made up of. Right off the bat, you have master enables, which allow you to invert the phase, turn on your gate, compressor, equalizer, or your limiter. You can see there you have your gate, compressor, and your six band equalizer. Your gate has the ability to have a side chain EQ enabled, which you can then go and boost from right here, or you can also control it from the graph window. Your compressor has multiple modes and you can go and enable a side chain as well. So you can do such operations as DSing and stressing. The limiter happens in the output section. And there's also another great feature in here, which is delay. And this can be utilized to take two stereo sources that may be off a little bit and you can go ahead and delay them. It can also be used to create some interesting comb filtering effects if that's something that you're looking for. One of the biggest features about Metric Halo's channel strip though is the equalizer. And that's what we're utilizing here on this particular track, which is a Rhodes. And we are doing a pretty heavy mid-range cut. We're doing a pretty heavy high mid-range boost. So let's just go and solo this Rhodes real fast. So that's without channel strip. This is without channel strip. And this is with channel strip. You can see that it cleared everything up while not making it sounding anemic and also brought a very, very nice presence that sounds very analog to my ears.